Huzzah! This is my safety, uh... Wall, I guess. Not that you could get to it very well during the middle of a uh, chase. I don't think they could reach me, and this corner is probably dark enough to, um... Nah, it's not dark enough. Oh well. I'm pondering if I can turn that machine on over there. Or, like, turn it back on. But I don't want to be a dick to Agrippa, because he's a cool dude. Agrippa channels wire. Oh. Wire taunts me from the other side. I trust him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on it. Okay. Okay, well, so this is what I'm. This is what I'm. I'm looking for. I have to make a tonic to help Agrippa, so I have to get um, Vitae, um, some kind of fungi, and some secretion from the water thing, and I've already got that. So we're we're one third of the way there. I don't know how I'm going to mix it, but I'm sure we'll find a way. Is there a candle? Oh, I can light this up. Okay. This room is now very ineffective at trying to hide away from monsters, but whatever. Black Eagle is. Oh boy. Okay, well. So now I have to go into the choir, and the choir did have a. It, it did say that the fungi was in the choir, so. Wait, maybe I can talk. Let me talk to Agrippa real quick. Oi! Agrippa! Ah, you again. Yeah, I found Incredible. the thing. You found Vile's recipe. Then there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, then. Please, find the ingredients and prepare the tonic via this climb. And do so before you assemble the ore. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the hall, you won't be able to save me. 
Alright, alright. Okay, so now, um... I have to do that. Basically, I just got... No time for sitting around. Shut up. I'm trying to explain to my viewers what's going on. They probably already got it, but shit. I'm gonna say it anyways. It calms me down when I explain stuff. Speak my mind. So I have to collect these three pieces of tonic, and then I have to make them before I put the orb in. Obviously, because the orb... Assembling the orb would signify the end of the game. And by end of the game, I mean well, whatever the hell happens after the inner sanctum, which I would assume is the end of the game. Also, what the fuck, choir entrance? Are you telling me there's more than one area? Oh, hey, this is a really bright hallway. Anyone think that the lights are all gonna go out by a burst of wind? Feels that way, doesn't it? Jesus. There's a lot of light. What do they do? Take his nuts off? Jesus Christ. Saw and hammer. Man, they had they used a lot of weird shit to torture these people. Stab, stab. <sighs> At least these torture rooms are brightly lit. Not that it makes the situation any better. Okay. I know there's a note on the table. Let me just look around a bit. Okay. 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. What the fuck? Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Oh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come! Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines, paint the man, cut the lines! Please, the man cries. Ah, ah, now you see. Jesus Christ! Now. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you! Now, once more! Withdraw your shadow from my domain! You don't want me to go out there, right? That's like a really dumb idea. But, since I can't do anything else, I can't even turn on my lantern. Maybe I can close the door. Yeah, fuck you. I gotta go out anyways. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Oh boy. Alex was an evil little fucker, wasn't he? He just cut a guy in head. Okay, so he didn't cut him in half, but he did kill him. Alright, I get it. I have, this is the guy that I have to get the blood from. I have to find a knife to kill him with. Well, he's already dead, but, you know... Oh, oh there's more! Who the fuck thought it'd be a good idea to ha hang dead people in the hallway? Maybe they're not dead, maybe they're just asleep. 
Oh god, that's a horrible thought. Oh. Wow, that's all this area was for? I can dig it. Fucking creepy. I don't want to turn on my lantern. Just in case there's something here. Fuck it! We're gonna go. I don't know exactly where, but we need to go. I'm not turning on my light, though. I guess you could call this my, uh, safety pillar. Yeah, I like this. Well, that really doesn't do anything to help. Okay. Huh, this room is really, really red. Whatever. Um. Okay, alright Daniel, you only have to collect three more pieces of the orb, find the shit that you need to help uh, Agrippa, and everything will be fine. Hell, maybe you can just find the pieces of the orb and say fuck Agrippa. I, I like the dude, he's cool and all, but to be honest, I just want to get this over with. Selfish as that sounds. I wish I had a fucking map. There's like no reason to light the torches. What's in there? I don't want to go to the door and then it's going to go bang 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 and I'm going to be like oh shit it's a monster and then I'm going to have to run and then I'm going to feel like an idiot for lighting that torch great another red room 